my name is Martha Kelpie and I'm a sex therapist and I am following up on my previous blog about sex and COVID with a little more information about specifically how self-pleasure, self-touch that's sexual can be a really important skill to build for strengthening your partner sex, whether or not you're having partner sex right now. So people who are living together and who are intimate together might be choosing to be sexual together because they're sharing germs and they're imagining that if one of them gets sick, they'll both get sick and they're okay with that. But there are lots of people who are in separate households or socially distanced from partners for one reason or another. And um, those are the people that I am talking about today. So if that describes you, take heart. It's hard and also you can get through this and it's gonna be okay. And I think that there are some ways that you can really take advantage of the situation that we're in right now to build some skills that are gonna make a stronger sexual connection for you and your socially distanced partner in the future. So one way is to learn more about your own sexual response and your own intimate pleasure your own sense of eroticism, what turns you on, what doesn't turn you on, what kind of touch is pleasurable, what kind of touch is less pleasurable. You can explore your fantasy life. And as you do that, you might be thinking, well, this is gonna be driving me further apart from my partner and I don't wanna be doing that. But what I wanna do is suggest that that doesn't have to be the case. We have this idea culturally that sexual touch should be from one person to another person, that other person to you. And I don't agree. I think one of the absolutely best sexual skills that you can possibly have in terms of having great sex for your whole lifetime is the ability to touch yourself for pleasure when your partner is with you. And for you to find it to be erotic to watch your partner do the same. Why do I think that's important? I think it's important because there are plenty of times when one person is just not up for the full menu of whatever it is that that means for you. And when that happens, I don't want you to have to just shut the door entirely to any kind of intimate contact. So that's one situation where self-touch can just be amazing. If you don't have to feel responsible for giving your partner an orgasm, your partner can instead take control of their own pleasure and their own orgasm, then that really frees you up and them up. It reduces anxiety and it also means that, you know, either one of you could have an orgasm if you want to. And if you don't, that's okay. You can decide not to, but it doesn't have to be somebody else's responsibility to give you your orgasm. I can't even tell you how much anxiety that frees up for most people. Just tons of psychic energy suddenly free for you to use for other things that are more important. So while there isn't a lot of great stuff going on right now in our culture with COVID, uh, not just our culture, like every culture right now, one amazing positive aspect is it gives you an opportunity to get more comfortable with self-pleasure and for you and your partner or partners to get more comfortable with the idea of self-touch being part of your partner's sex. So let's imagine that you're on um, some sort of video conference platform with your partner and you're having an intimate interlude. You're gonna have to touch yourself if you want there to be genital touch because your partner is far away, right? On the other side of a screen. This is the same for phone sex. This is the same for sexting. If you want there to be uh, just psychic, juicy flirtatiousness, you can totally do that without touching your genitals. But if what you want is genital touch, then you can have that. Just put your hand on your genitals and enjoy the vibe that you can build with your partner when they're doing the same. And this skill, I promise you, is gonna stand you in good stead later. So if we think of this as an opportunity to build some repertoire, I really cannot stress enough what a wonderful sexual repertoire this is. The ability to touch yourself in the presence of your partner and find it to be erotic when they do the same. 
you can get a lot of erotic energy moving between the two of you when you do this and I highly recommend it. So give it a try and feel free to leave your comments below, ask me your questions. I'll do my best to answer them on my blog. Thank you. Stay safe. Have a great day. Thank you.